Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to unlock the stay case in Concord and I'll be going in depth with it. Subscribe if you're new and leave a like on the video. So the con card is under the challenges, seasonal, and is under the season 4 con cards. It is level, you have to be level 180 to unlock it. And it reads off in round based, reach round 20 without leaving the starting area. That basically just means just don't open any doors until round 20. Sounds pretty simple, but it's not as easy as it sounds. And for the loadout, um, you can really pick any weapon. You can choose an AR, SMG, TAC rifle, LMG, I wouldn't recommend a sniper rifle. Uh, pistols are fine, shotguns are fine, launch. I wouldn't recommend launchers either. Uh, melee, don't do specials either. But melee is fine, I think. Uh, melee could be good for bosses, but I don't know, it's up to you. I'll be using this just because I don't have ammo for it yet. And I will be using energy mine. You don't have to have tier 5, you only have to have tier 4 or tier 3 because the detonates two times and detonates three times. I, I rarely, I'd say about 15% of the time when I did when I use an energy mine, it actually kills more than one, or it actually kills with more than one blast. Usually the first blast takes them all and the second blast only gets one or two at most. I don't even have it to your five because yeah, it's pointless. So you want energy mine and you want to go on D Machina because that is the best spawning it matters. The totem spawning area is on a rooftop. It's really condensed, so don't do that in five days Z. Um, it's better than that other killing, but it's still not a good D machine, so we will be loading into that. And why I'm loading in, if you are new here and you want to subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. I post tons of guys just like this, but I post pretty often. If you've liked this so far, leave a like as well, and I'll also be greatly appreciated. Let's get into it. So, rounds 1 through 10 is what I'll consider the early rounds for this challenge. And basically, you just want to do what you normally do, because normally I stay until round 8. Or around 8 ish, pretty much around till I have 15,610. So that's what it takes to open the map and get stamina up on the way there. Um, but and also, also, rounds 1 through 10, the zombies are or the zombies only do 30 damage, and after that, they do 50 damage. That's why the early rounds are the rounds that you can use your fist as one. But the early rounds are the rounds that are the easiest because the zombies don't do 50 damage until round 11. And also, your weapon is viable until round 10. After round 10, it's usable but not viable. I'd say around round 13 is when you want to be putting the weapon away and just purely using other things. So, round 1 through 10 should be pretty simple, and I'll come back when I finish. And one more thing I forgot to mention is. This is more preparation for the middle and late rounds, but you want to start collecting either sentences or C4 for a lethal. Frags are fine, but I wouldn't recommend picking them up unless you have no other equipment. I recommend sentences because they have the highest drop rate out of the two, and they also explode easier because you don't have to double tap F. For a non lethal, the tactical equipment, I would recommend either stims. Or stun grenades. Stun grenades, you don't really need them, but they're good for the megaton man, which comes later. So don't use them yet. Just save them until. Don't use them unless you have a full stack of them, and that's another one on the ground. Because you will be needing them later on. So I'm now entering round 11. This is when you get to the mid rounds. You can still use a weapon here and just train and then shoot them. Um. That's not the fastest way, but that is still viable in these rounds. But what you want to start doing, not necessarily yet, but if you see a decoy on the ground, you can just throw it and then pick back up what you had and then shoot them just because. And if you find an armor that is really helpful, you want to make sure you don't break it because they aren't common 
on these rounds so if you lose it you may not get armor back so on these rounds not necessarily yet but on these rounds you want more using your semtexes and killing the hordes off now i didn't do the good of the job there you want to round them out unlike me i just kind of they're in a straight line but you want to like run around them in circles and then jump up and then throw one in the middle like that or you can use your energy mine. I'll be showing that also. That's why we have the energy mine. So once you round them out, see here, if you want to just pop the energy mine and it kills the entire horde. And you see what I mean by another armor? That's it doesn't happen that often. But you see there, you don't even need the second burst. Um, because the first burst has killed the entire horde, so that's what you want to do with the energy line. You want to do the same thing for the semtexes, but just throw it in the middle, or the sequel, or whatever. And it one shots the zombies up until whenever it one shots the zombies the entire game. So it is viable for the rest of the game. But some things will change in round 15, because round 15 is the megaton round. So we will be doing other things other than throwing semtexes because in round 15 your weapon won't be as that good it won't be viable against megatons here we have round 15 and what's going to be different on this round is there's going to be a megaton spawning in i think this is the only megaton in the entire first 20 rounds so it will be a lot harder and if you have enough salvage for a chopper gunner and you 100% want to buy a chopper gun and take it out but for this you want to round up the zombies actually you may lose your armor in this round as you see i'm always out of it yeah i lost my armor there but you do want to round up the zombies and for the most part you just want to take out most of the zombies and when there's a few zombies left you want to focus on the megaton but you do want to try to See, so yeah, I took out most of the, or all the zombies. It didn't do that much damage to the megaton, but that's not what we're trying to do right now. If you get down like that, use your stem. That will happen some of the time. But as you see here, so the megaton, you see, I only have 40 salvage, so I can't buy one. But even if you have 100 salvage, you can buy a death machine, and that is also very helpful. But tomahawks are also tomahawks are good. If you find tomahawks on the ground, you want to use them against the megatons because you can re pick them back up and they do a little damage and they don't require a lot of effort. But see here, you want to stun them and then you just want to spray. Now, it won't kill them or split them, but it is effective. You want Go and pick back up your tomahawk. Maybe kill a few of these. Oh, there's an insta kill here. With insta, insta kill is the your friend here. I take a take it end the round here, but with insta kill you just shred them. I got lucky. I didn't kill them unfortunately though because the weapons doesn't do enough damage. I want to keep going. I see I have 200 salads. I'm going to try to stop by and pick up something. Maybe a death machine. I don't have enough for I have enough for a cruise missile but I don't have enough for a chopper gunner. See I did go down but thankfully this is the hardest round you'll have. So going down isn't the biggest of deals I can almost buy a quick revive but you want to buy a drop again or a cruise missile or a death machine just because and if there's a nuke I would take it I would honestly take the nuke because it doesn't kill them but you see it loads its damage by a lot is that both of them? Yeah, I killed both. I killed both of them. If you find Insecure's nukes, those are your friends. But if you didn't get as lucky I did, you wanna use. I've actually never used this against them, but 
want to use chopper gunner want to use you want to use chopper gunner cruise missile and you want to use death machine there's there's a 30 million ones you want to use but after the megaton round you basically just want to do the same thing you do during four except be more cautionary because there are more fast zombies the fast zombies start spawning around 11 but there's more fast ones in round 17 through 20. I basically want to do the same thing you just want to round up a horde and once you have them rounded up see earlier I just threw it in there but you don't want to do that you want to run some circles and around them and then you want to jump and it kills the entire horde you just you want to keep doing that until round 20 and I'm going to go buy a quick revive if you want to buy a self revive, self -revive if you do go down because that gives you another chance to stay alive just after round 17 it will be frustrating if you go down but that's basically what you want to do you want to do that with the energy mines too pop one and it'll kill the entire horde pretty simple you just want to make sure you don't get down Oh, and also I recommend running with your fist out because your fist out is faster. It's faster than everything in the game except the E-Tool. So unless you're rocking the E-Tool, you want to run with your fist out. But you see it there, buy another quick arrive. Megaton round is really the only super challenging round. Other rounds are just, you know, staying cautious. And making sure you're patient and don't get hit from behind. And one thing I do not know is I don't know if you have to actually finish round 20 or just get to round 20 so we'll find that out soon and I'm on round 19 I just been doing the same thing running in circles I actually ran out of some texts um and realized but you wanna just run in circles use energy mine see here we got to round 20 yeah you just have to get to round 20 and the column card is pretty cool I think uh, I'm not going to use it, but I think it's pretty cool. I could definitely see if you would use it. But yeah, leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And comment down below what your thoughts are on unlocking the staycation calling card. And comment down below if you're going to unlock it or not. Tell me what other topics you'd like me to cover. And yeah, I'm out.